big. They have encompassed everything. But what they represent is the order of learning for us. Uh, each of them trying to tell us, trying to teach us uh, to reach the same perfection, the same roundedness, uh, to get to the highest level of attainment. If we follow it, we'll get there. So today, uh, among these four bodhisattvas, each value that represents, you cannot, if you lack one out of four, your attainment is not perfect. That means you cannot reach Buddhahood. You cannot le leave one behind. Because our worldly, the worldly people of the world, they lack most. What did they lack the most? All right, is the value these four bodhisattva represents. It's very interesting. Uh, like us, the Buddhists, uh, we want the Chanamita for. We want to be wise. Without Manjushri Bodhisattva, we cannot. But if. If you want to be as smart, uh, well, as wise as Manjushri Bodhisattva, without the foundation of Siddhigarbha Bodhisattva, you can't. You can't get that level. Uh, or you want to be as compassionate as Guan Yin Bodhisattva or as Alva Loi Kittisvara. But without wisdom, your compassion will not be perfect. You will not use in the right way. Like you walk, you require too late to walk properly. Without one, if you're lacking one leg, you can't walk properly. <laughs> so now we know these four bodhisattva are equally important into our life. They all represent something we need to have a happy life. Uh, they're all high wisdoms. Uh, since we understand like they are well-rounded, they are perfect. So where do we begin? <laughs> The order of learning is from the order of learning. The first one is uh, Siddhi Gaba Bodhisattva or Di Zhang, direct translation of treasure. Uh, we begin from him. When we learn Buddhism, we learn from there. And Buddha would ask, if you ask Buddha, where do I begin, Buddha, in learning your Dhamma? He point out, he will point out, learn the spirit of Bodhisattva, God, uh, Siddhikabha Bodhisattva. Why? This Bodhisattva has infinite uh, wisdom, merits, skills, all Buddhas of all directions, of all past, present, future. Uh, why, among so many choices to learn from, we begin with Him? Why do we begin from Him? Among everyone. Like for us in Pure Land, if we if we depart from Siddhigabha Bodhisattva spirit value, you cannot go to Pure Land. Without this foundation, there's no Pure Land for you, for us. So, Buddha told us, we begin from him, from his what spirit he represents, because mm. it's not just there for us to offer incense and flowers. <laughs> what do they represent? <laughs> Sita Gaba Bodhisattva represents our root, our heart. Uh, this, the, this, the, the ground that we stand on, no matter what method you practice, without Bodhisattva Siddhikapa's value in you, 
the basic that he has represent right like the character if you don't have his uh, if your character doesn't have that value as a basis you could not reach the highest uh, attainment which is buddhahood or antara samya sambodhi equally perfect enlightenment because without his foundation you cannot achieve anything in buddhism no matter how, how well you chant Amitabha, how frequent you chant Amitabha, or any other methods of Buddhism, uh, without his value uh, imbued in your character, your action, speech, thought, that you can't have a guarantee to pure land. So that's why he represents like a tree. Without a root, how can tree have fruits? Uh, without roots, where are the stems, where are the branch, where are the fruit, where are the flowers? Uh, when we live in this world, uh, without our parents, how do we survive? So who gave us this? Like our parents provide us with everything, food, shelter, love, family love and all that. Without this, how do we grow properly? So they are like the roots. The case like when we are very, uh, very, very successful in our uh, business uh, with a lot of money, with a lot of uh, results. Uh, however, compared to your achievement in this society, compared to your own parents, that towards you, it's not comparable. Their, their spirit is uh, immeasurable, their, their kindness. So this is why we call the Siddhikaba Bodhisattva represents a root. If you want to learn Buddhism, you need to start how to, you need to begin with filial piety. How do we be filial or love and respect towards our parents? That's the first step. And that's what he's trying to tell us through his example. Being a human, we also need to learn how to be respectful towards our teacher. These are very important uh, factors. And we will explain it in detail. 49 years of Buddha's speech, they all follow this core. <laughs> 49 years of his speech, it's all about this foundation. You can say it is an annotation of the original vows of Siddhikaba Bodhisattva Sutra. Dizan Pusa Penjenchi. Look at the era nowadays. If we look our people, our friends, the people around us, observe carefully, friends, relatives, people in this era, especially right now, in this time, including ourselves, why is our affliction so heavy? Why do we find troubled in chanting Amitofo? Have we grown our wisdom? So one number one is severely affected, afflicted. After chanting so many years, we still felt restless in front of all that turbulent times in society, in family. Well, and the cause of all this problem is our roots has been forgotten by ourselves. We forgot the roots, we forgot our foundation uh, for, to our, our, our well-being and characters.